Saab didn't have a station wagon in its line since the days of the Saab 95. Certain leanings in this direction had existed during Bjorn Ienval's time as head of the design department, but were never realized. However, in the summer of 1998, a completely new station wagon based on the Saab 95 sedan was launched. As usual, the starting point for a new model begins with the interior demands. When the space for the driver and passengers, as well as the load area, have been decided, the designer can start finalizing the body shape. A full-scale clay model built on a steel chassis is then produced. The clay surface is scraped and polished to form a smooth shape. and coated with a painted foil to achieve the best possible finish. Although many of the components in the Saab 95 wagon came from the 95 sedan, the wagon should be regarded as a completely new car. run through the same exhaustive testing program on test tracks and in various climate conditions. to be a sporty estate car with a flexible load area. With the rear seats in place, it can hold all of 895 litres SAE. When the seats are folded down, the capacity is increased to a massive 2,000 litres SAE. the sedan version, the Saab 95 wagon is available in four equipment levels, linear, park, vector and aero. All models could be personalized with choice of upholstery, various dashboards, leather clad steering wheel, electrically adjusted seats, to mention just a few of the options. The Saab 95 wagon can be delivered with the same range of engines as the sedan models.